import music of any kind into CapCut. Uh, very simple to do. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to show you guys how you can essentially use the screen record function on your computer uh, to uh, get any music that you want and use it that way. Unfortunately, my computer won't allow me to screen record my computer uh, while I set up screen recording on my computer. So I had to make this like stalker type video where I'm recording uh, from my phone and showing you uh, on uh, on my phone how I do it from my desktop but um, on Mac uh, if you have QuickTime player that is the uh, uh, app that you're going to use to do this it's very simple and easy uh, most Macs it comes built in I think it still comes built in to this day in 2023 uh, so you can use that uh, to screen record which is great um, and then essentially if you're on PC there's uh, tons of different ways you can screen record there I mean you can download apps and I believe PC even has a built-in screen record function, but that's how you're going to do it. And so uh, basically, um, you uh, go ahead and uh, click on QuickTime Player. Then once you have it open, you click File. And then from there, you click New Screen Recording. And then once that happens, you'll see this little, uh, your mouse will turn into a camera, but at the bottom, there's a menu and you click the settings there and then make sure you click Built-in Microphone. And so that what that means is once that's selected, I'm gonna select that, get out of that, and I'm gonna go ahead and click Record. As I record, I'm gonna go ahead and play the song straight from YouTube, making sure it's in the 4K settings. I've got the record icon at the very top of my screen there. I click play, and now I am going to literally record from my screen the song that I want to add in to my video, and then once it's done, uh, I will import it into CapCut. All right, and then from my CapCut dashboard, I am going to uh, go into my media section. I already have the video I want uh, pulled in here, but I'm just showing you. So once you're in media, you click import, and then that will give you all the options to import everything you want. I've already got mine imported into the project, so there it is right there, and then I would just click import, and that would throw it into the project. Guys, I'm so serious about uh, not wanting to uh, get a copyright strike. Once you deal with it enough, you're like, I do not want to deal with this stuff anymore, so I'm not even gonna play the song that I have here because I don't know where it's at with that and I just don't want to risk it. But once it's in your project, then you go ahead and just drag it into your timeline like so. And so I have this song here selected. I'm going to uh, sc uh, scroll all the way in, turn this up a little bit so I can see the audio in there. And I'm going to literally uh, move my cursor right to where the song begins after I went ahead and started the screen recording and then I had to take those few seconds to start the song and I'm going to split the clip right there and I'm just going to delete that clip out of there. So now I've got it starting right when the song starts, right when I click play. You can kind of see it right there. Boom is right where it's starting. And then um, basically I'm going to go all the way to the back of the clip and I am going to see right where the song ends and I'm going to find that there and then I am going to uh, split that section of the of the clip as well so split and delete so now uh, in my clip all I have now is the song playing and then I'm going to uh, use the right click function uh, on my Mac and just select extract audio and boom now I have the clip completely separated from uh, the, or now I have the audio completely separated from the clip that I made, and I could even move this audio wherever I want it in my project timeline. Let me zoom out here because this gets a little insane to have to sit here and do this. So move it out. There it is. And then I just delete the video portion that I no longer need. And that is how I have successfully collected. Um, the music and, and you can sounds, whatever meme sounds, whatever you, you're looking for. Uh, you can get pretty much any song, any meme that you want. Um, but I do not suggest you do this. I don't think it is the best way to do stuff like this because, um, of copyright stuff. Your material is, is, is subject to being copyrighted. I think in general, a lot of YouTubers uh, do it with the general meme sounds and stuff. Hopefully that helps. I hope that that uh, gives you guys something to work with. And uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comment section below. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to make a video on in the comment section below. Maybe I can make one for you and, and show you how to, how to fix it or do whatever it is that you're dealing with. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords.
Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects. And please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time Comet Creators. End transmission.